Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and all things art journaling. But today I have a different project for you. We're going to do this postcard. <gasps> thank you, Keenan. You're welcome, thank you. This is our camera guy, our hype man. Uh -huh. oh, yes, hello, nice to meet you. Um, So we're gonna do this, this postcard because we love doing um, the Let's Make Art Matter program here at Let's Make Art. And it's really just an opportunity to put some good vibes out in the world and show someone some love. So I'm going to tell you about our recipient Excellent. this month. I'm very curious. Like I said, every month we come together as a community to create small acts of kindness through art. This month we're sending good vibes to Tracy. Being in a wheelchair didn't stop Tracy from working hard at her home in-home daycare and serving others in her neighborhood. She has always found a way to teach and love and care for her daycare kids like they were family. Recently, she hasn't been able to work in the same capacity as she once did with all the limitations of the virus, and she's feeling isolated in her home alone, and she could use some smiles in the form of art. Aww. Join us in sending postcards to Tracy to surprise her for her birthday. So her birthday's in March. Okay. So um, someone in the community nominated her, but I actually know her. She cared for my children for a good long time before I moved to Missouri for Let's Make Art. What? Yes, and she's like family to us, and she's amazing, and we love her, and... Um, so when she got nominated um, from someone um, in the community, I got excited because I thought it'd be fun to collect all the postcards in February and then have them all delivered on her birthday in March. So yes, that so, will be amazing. That's what we're doing, and um, we've been doing all these affirmations like "I'm an artist," "I trust where I am on our, my artistic journey," "I am strong," and "I thought I am loved" was the perfect affirmation to send her so that yeah. she can know that. So this is a fun, easy project. Um, if you want to participate this and you're not in our mm. subscription box. Very important. Listen up. Yes. Um, you still can. You can just, you know, cut watercolor paper or whatever paper you got to the postcard size. And if you want the address, you can contact our customer happiness team at hello at letsmakeart.com. And they will set you up yes. for success. Yes. But you get this card in your box if you're a subscriber. It's already stamped and addressed and ready to go. All you have to do is make the art with us. So, nice. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're and we're use... pretty fun to make art with. Yeah. Because we take snack breaks. <laughs> we do. Lots of snack breaks. Okay. So we're going to just put this card here and we're going to use our stencil in a fun way. And I still have tape on here from the last time I used it, which I'm just going to reuse. So I'm going to put this on here like that where all of this stencil is kind of off the card let's see if I can off the card kind of like that I'm liking that is that similar to off the cusp I don't I don't off the cuff off the cuffs <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now <laughs> I don't I don't remember the phrase it turns out <laughs> actually I'm gonna adjust this a little bit well what's off, off the cusp I, I think that you made that up. I made that up? Yeah, you're really good at making stuff up. I like it. <laughs> okay. I just wanted it to go off the edge of that, like, that part a little bit more. So that's why I had to, whoop. Y'all, I just get excited. I get moving too fast. And I don't, I don't want our art making time to go by too fast. I enjoy this. So let's all just slow down. All right. Okay. Yes. So. What you can do with this is, you. there's a couple different things you can do, but I think it would be fun to show you that you can kind of rub this across your stencil like this. And I'm starting out with our nebula. Now you're like, hey, that's not going in there. What's happening? Do you see that, Keenan? how it's not going in the stencil? It's like on top of my stencil. Yes. And it's not really. It's unacceptable, I think. Yes. It's not getting in there. Well, I was playing around with this and I did this and I was like, well, I thought this would work out better, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you in just a second how we're gonna make that work for us. But just get some on there the best you can. And if you need to, you might have to push your, it's like chapstick, like I was telling y'all, it's like watercolor chapstick. So if you wanna get a little more pigment at the right angle, you can do that. So I've got some nebula here, and then I'm gonna use, so if you mix the nebula with the red, you kinda of get this purpley color. So I'm gonna do a little bit of of that okay just crossing over here just a little bit and then I'm gonna put some of that red is called Mars some of the stardust next and I really like this color a lot so I'm gonna put more of that on there while you were doing the art 
Mm -hmm. I googled off the cusp. Cusp? Correct, off the cusp. Because I had to Google what I said to see if it was real. It is not real. Oh, yeah, no. But on the cusp is. Yes. Which makes sense why I confused the two. Sure, I can see that. That's it. That makes perfect sense to me now that you explained it. Yes. I mix up words and phrases and mix them together all the time. And um, I don't even notice that I did it. So. <laughs> I like to combine words. I'm gonna put this red over. Whoop, got a little bit of that color on there. That's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, y'all. Okay, so getting that red. Don't worry, okay? Because the next step is going to make this cool, so. Don't worry. Just stick with me. Getting that red on there. Keep arting. And you can put a little bit of kind of going into that magenta for a transition. It's gonna be cool. Um, Tracy's favorite color is purple, so I actually feel like I need a little bit more of that purple color. What? Yeah, she loves purple. I have a nephew whose favorite color is purple and a daughter whose favorite color is purple. Purple is a great color. It is. Violet, I'm into it. Mm. Okay, so now you're going to use a very special art tool. What? <laughs> that you have with you all the time, your finger. Oh. And we're going to blend it. You're going to need to wash your hands. Probably at some point. But right now, having that color on there is going to help you blend the next one. So it's fine. See what's happening? This is so cool. <laughs> what? Okay, so now I don't want so much purple blending in there. Um, so I'm going to blend whatever I have left on my finger. <laughs> Or rinse my hand, or you could use a different finger. That's totally fine because you got more than one. More than one finger? Yeah. No way. Come on, Keaton. Well, you, you think we just got extra fingers to spare? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So blend that. Now we start blending our red, and you can always go back and add more if you need to. Whoa! I'm gonna drop it. Sorry. Good catch. I just love this stuff. It's so fun. I, I like that Mars one a lot. The red? Yeah. It's pretty. So, yeah, I was just playing around with this and I was like, hey, this works. This is cool. Um, because there are so many different ways you can use these gelatos. All right, let's get my hands rinse off a little bit. Okay, so once you're happy with that stage of it, you can peel it off and then we'll add some water. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So that's cool. All right, we're gonna add some water, but I was like, oh man, my stencil is super dirty. Like, how am I gonna get this clean? And I remembered that I had, let's put this right here. So random other side project, commercial break to the project. <laughs> I cleaned my stencil on my bag that comes with a subscription box, and I was like, that's kind of cool, actually. Genius. <laughs> and then oh, another one. Let's see if I grab it. So, I mean, you gotta clean your stencil anyway, so you might as well decorate your there. bag. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put this down. Yes. I put my stencil over it. And Go I'm on. Get Tell us more. A wet paper towel. You can use a baby wipe if you have that. And then I'm just gonna wipe my stencil off. And while I'm doing that, it's transferring the color over to my bag. Stop it. This was on accident? Yeah, I was just like, I need to clean this. Um, there's this bag right there, cause I have like a hundred of them cause of the, all of the ones that come in our subscription box. And so many people have done like fun, creative things with their bags. They keep their cards in them. They do like, different designs on them, paint on them. And they've shared these in a group. That's why I love our community. They're all sharing really cool stuff. So, um, they're very, so they're very sharing and caring. So they inspired me to try this. Cause I was like, I gotta clean the stencil anyway. So now my stencil's clean and my bag is cool. Look how cool that bag that is. Good? So then I could just wipe my, now all that stuff is gone and it's on my bag. Dang, that is <laughs> anyway, sweet. You can try that if you want. 
and it might bleed through the back but that's cool it's still like i don't know you put a little gift in there whatever Ooh. just getting creative with what we got you know okay so next step is we're going to take old May Lil mavis our old, old mavis brush. mobile oval la 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 whatever mavis and we're just going to add some water and i'm going to start on the left and kind of just do the same thing i'm going to work my way over and it's not going to disperse the the paint a lot because we put so much on there it's just going to give us a little a little something and we can even go back in there and add some if you want them jesse would you be willing to push that up oh, perfect oh a little to the left maybe yes there it is thank you yes so i think i want a little more magenta in this area so i'm actually going to just put my gelato right on my what do you call this butcher tray <laughs> kind of what it is it's a butcher tray it sits there and just add a little bit more of that into there oh nice now my brush is picking up some of that red and moving that around that's cool and i kind of like leaving a little bit of white here and there too kind of gives it some variety so that is feeling good yeah so we'll let this dry, and because it's watercolor paper, it's kind of buckling, but that's all right. We'll let this dry, and our next step is going to be to cut out our sentiment that we're using here. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit wet. Let me dry that off before I put my collage paper on there. There we go. I like that little cutting board. It's cute. It's, it's nice to travel around with. I just happen to have it today because I filmed with it last time. Oh yeah, and that thing's magnetic. Yes. Sweet. And you can do this with scissors. You don't have to do this with a exacto. I'm so excited for Tracy to get all these postcards that y'all are going to make. Okay. So we got that. I'm excited to see how many different kinds there are. Yeah, because you can do all kinds of stuff with this. So we have that. I'll go there. This is still wet, so we need to let that dry. Um, we can rip the paper that I have at the top here next. So I just, I just kind of went for it. I think it was about that long. Oh, a little bit more. No reason to be precise and get it exact. I was just trying to mimic what we did, what I did last time. Just rip it. Have a good time. Okay, that looks about right to me. Very nice. Okay, the same thing with this other one. Something just feels good about ripping stuff. I really mm. like it. Agreed. Okay, so what I'll end up doing is putting this one down first and then gluing this one on like that. Okay? Okay. But we might need a minute for this to dry, just a few more minutes before we paste our stuff on. So let's take a second for that to dry, get a snack, come right back. Okay, so this is looking dry now. We can do our next step. And I recommended this brush in um, other projects or whatever. And I said that you can use it to try to keep your mixed media sort of stuff like gesso and gel media and like in the same brush so you don't ruin like your brushes that you wanna paint to have flexibility and whatnot. And this is a stiffer brush. It's really great for that. And it will kind of give you a little bit of texture because it's more coarse. Yes. It's a so, really cool brush. Yeah, so you definitely don't have to have this, but it's a great one to have in your collection. And if you don't have that, you can totally just dedicate another brush to the cause of like, this is what I'm gonna use when I'm using like heavy, medium kind of stuff. And so I just put a little washi tape on this brush to do that, and you can do that. For the sides of this, this brush might need be a little bit easier to, to glue these items on, so I'm gonna use this brush, but either one is great. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip this over and get a little bit of this 
gel medium. I actually didn't wet my brush. It helps to have it a little bit wet, but not too wet because you don't want to water down the gel medium because you want it to be sticky and work the way that it's intended. So I'm just going to get that on there. I'm gonna move this exacto over here so I don't bump into it. Okay. And then I tore that on the corner, so I'm just gonna put this corner right on my corner and line it up. So that's easy. I don't even have to trim it off or anything. Oh, nice. But if it was hanging over the edge, I would trim it off. You know, easy, easy peasy. Okay. I want more of that blue to show, so I'm actually gonna rip my pink part a little bit more. Let's see. I don't like going that way. This just adds a little dimension, a little bit of layers to this. It's kind of fun. I like it a lot. Like and you like said, it's fun to tear, but it also looks really cool. <laughs> Bonus. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking that. All right. So now we're ready for the matte medium, gel medium. And if you're doing this on your cutting board like I am, just can clean your board right after. That'll be good. And I'm just lining up that straight edge again, right on the top. And this pink just blends so well to that background that we made. I'm liking that. Okay, and the same thing with the uh, I Am Loved. If I can pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stubborn piece of paper. Yeah, silly. Okay. I'm gonna have a little more glue. What snack did you get, Jesse? I didn't get a snack. Huh. That's too bad. I used the the heat gun to dry it. That's true. What kind of I snack are you snacking well, on? Well, I got there? a cosmic brownie. Oh, lucky. Yeah, sometimes I, I speed things up with the heat gun. So if you have a blow dryer or a heat gun, you can you can do that. Or you can be like Keenan, have a cosmic brownie. Just have a cosmic brownie and <laughs> hang out. Okay, so you can be done at this stage or you can add a little bit more gel medium to just kind of seal it and since we're putting this in the mail that might be good but if you wet what's underneath too much like if you add water to your brush and then do it it might disperse the pigment so just be careful in your application of gel medium in that way just doing a light little bit there and that's it we did it wow well, that's, quick, lo that's lovely it's a quick one but super fun i think yeah Thank you so much for making this with us and being a part of our Let's Make Art Matter program. I really love that we can put good vibes in the world by making art. feels good to make it. It feels good to send it out. It feels good to get it. Like, yeah. So um, all these are going to turn out a little differently, and you can feel free to do whatever you want. You don't have to even make this. You can just make a postcard for Tracy and send it on its way, and she can get a variety of different things. And I love seeing what you made. So if you want to share that in the group on our Facebook group, at Let's Make Art Journals or on Instagram. Totally love seeing that. Thanks so much for being here making art with us. We'll see you next time.